Hi everyone! So this is my weekly update video. Um, I, again, I don't think there's all that much to report, but I did want to keep you in the loop with everything that's going on. Um, for example, I think the most important thing to mention right now is that um, at council meeting this past week, we decided that at least to try, um, we would switch the worship um, platform on, on Sunday mornings from YouTube to Zoom. Um, which will be the first Sunday that we'll be doing it will be um, the day after tomorrow. So um, I will send the link to that to Angie to put up on the website. All the hymns will be on the website. Um, it is a little bit more interactive than YouTube allows for us to, to hold worship. Um, so once we kind of get a little bit more comfortable with that, maybe other people can do the readings and we can um, talk to each other rather than just me kind of talking at the camera. Um, and uh, we can stay for virtual coffee hour afterwards, for example, which of course YouTube doesn't let us do. So um, watch for the updated links for that on the website. Um, there will also be an option to call in straight to the Zoom meeting. So hopefully even if you don't have access to the internet or if you know of someone, um, if you know of family members who would like to participate in worship, but who maybe don't have a computer or don't have access to the internet, um, there is a phone number that they can call and they can just type in the meeting ID once they're asked for it and then they should be able to join us just with sound. Um, if you have any questions at all about that, please let me know. You have my phone number, you have my email address. Feel free to text or call me or send me an email and I will try to help you in any way that I can so that as many people as possible can actually participate in worship this Sunday. So um, that is it for Zoom. Um, we will also stay online until further notice. Um, we will kind of watch what the governor does and says about the pandemic and we'll go off of that um, with regard to staying online for worship or doing um, drive-in parking lot worship services or uh, coming back together. We just have to see what's going to happen. It's really frustrating, I know, for, for a lot of us to just not know what's going to happen, but as of right now, just plan for worship to be online. Um, there will always be the links either for YouTube Live or for Zoom if we can figure that one out, if that works well. So um, there will be ways to still connect to church, even if we can't be together in person. Um, next, the B90 program, the Bible in 90 Days, starts this Sunday as well. So if you're interested in that, um, do remember to fill out the doodle poll so that I know um, who all is interested in participating. Um, it is a lot of reading, I, I have to admit that, but you don't actually have to read and like annotate and reread everything. There are other ways to participate. You can read summaries, you can read um, kind of bulletin notes, you can um, listen to podcasts. All of those resources are also on the website under the tab B90 program. So um, if you have any questions about that, if you would like more resources, if you would like more resources for families especially, um, please let me know and I would be more than happy to send those to you. And then lastly, I just wanted to remind all of us of our prayer list. Um, I know that many of us have probably been praying for everyone that we can think of, but um, I'll just read you the prayer list so that you can kind of see whether there are any updates that you need. So from Augustana, we have Mae Johnson. From Bergen, we have Marilyn Larson, Joe Peterson, and Bonnie Westfield. From St. Lucas, we have Marilyn Bresven, Sheldon Holland, and Savannah Rausch. And then in the community, we have Landon Behrens, Libby Duck, Gail Gregoire, Janet Tanto, Gary Johnson, Jill Burney, Cindy Buyert, Tony Rodriguez, and Adela Espinosa. Um, these are all the updates that I have for this week. But again, if you have any others, please feel free to put them in the comment section of this video so that other people that come back to this video can also see them. And with that, I hope to see you bright and early at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning for our first Zoom worship of the season. Have a great evening, have a great weekend, and see you very soon.